Moreno coming live from the mother's womb. Shout out to everybody who's watching. For those of you who are new to this channel, what I do, I motivate, I appreciate, and I initiate. Um, <laughs> yeah, I make music. Um, lately, I've been working like crazy on this project that I got coming up. It's actually called The Series. The Series, this is my third project, but this is the first project where it's like, I can actually say that I've expressed myself internally, you know, I, I talked about, you know, just certain ideas that, you know, that I think in my head, but I just, I, I could never really express, you know, this is like the first time where it's like, I got to, to, to speak on certain things, you know. So for episode 19 of Simple As It Sounds, today who are we are doing, we're doing Nardwar, aka the Human Serviette, yeah. Um, his name is John Ruskin. He's actually from here in Canada. He's from West Canada of uh, Vancouver, BC. You know, I see Nardwar as a hip hop legend because I remember seeing, you know, I remember when I was younger and he did an interview with Odd Future, you know, when I seen that and then just seeing all the people he, he's done later, you know, and it's like, I'm amazed, you know, he really, he, he's very thorough in his work, you know. I had no clue Nordwar ever had any ties with music at all, you know. Like, actually, in 1986, he was actually the vocalist and um, keyboardist of a band called The Evaporators. Nordwar is an interviewer who's passionate about his work. Seeing the reaction of the people he interviews, it actually makes me laugh. He's been interviewing since, like, 1985, you know. You can go on YouTube yourself. You'll see the vintage footage of Nardwar putting in work. His father wanted him to even become like an engineer. Thank God he stuck out with his own gut feeling and look where he is today, you know. So often we hear that lullaby, you know, even for myself, of people having a vision of, of what they want to become, but they're holding themselves back. I always wondered how Nordwar is so accurate with his information. Nordwar will tell you about your one boy with the missing leg and, 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 and you know, the missing eye you ain't seen since like grade school, you know? To me, that's a sign Nordwar is really living his work. I became a, a fan of Nordwar simply, like I, I will say again, because he's interviewed my favorite artists. He's, he came to hip hop and he, he interviewed people who hold some significance, hold some value to, to my worldview and how I grew up, you know? I recently seen an interview of Nardwar. It was actually here in Toronto, you know? It was around uh, 1998, year I was born. <laughs> so at the time, punk was big in, in Toronto. I had no clue, I never would have guessed punk even ever reached in uh here in Toronto, you know? And it's like that's amazing, you know? But Nordwar, he's been doing his thing. To me, the relationship between the artist and the fan, it's 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 very important. Thank God we have people who dedicate their lives to interviewing artists because if you think about it, not every artist is comfortable with opening up about their lives. Not every artist wants to do that. So, shouts to Nardwar. If you're a fan of hip hop, if you're a fan of Nardwar yourself, you can recognize greatness. You can recognize something that is authentic, something that is real, someone who really cares, you know? The more human we realize an artist is, the more we feel like we know them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you watch um, Nardwar, you know that's his signature sound. You know, not everybody accepted Nardwar at first. There are times when he was thrown out by security when he was trying to interview people who mean something to my man. He was doing stuff like hiding in bathrooms for hours on end just to get those interviews. When you want to make something happen, you will cross the bridge of doom. You will cross the bridge of doom. You will go with where the crocodiles are snapping their jaws at your ankles and shit. 
you will make it happen. And that's what Nordward did. Look where he's at today. You know, what it, he's an inspiration. You know, he's, look where he's at today. Shout out Nordward. I, I'm working to get my um, my Moreno Zulu uh, Nardwar interview for show. I got 16 bars of appreciation. She who want me go up on the Snapchat. Baby, I don't think I could be a little lab rat. You tell me how I'm tripping. You should stay up in the kitchen, cause my rent don't never tripping. I tell you, play out for a mission. I tell them how that's how I'm living. They say, brother, yo, you give it. I told them I wanna go on another war. And they telling me, boy, you hardcore. Cause I'm sticking with my dreams and I got my own team. I'm gonna fly through like the fucking light being hot. Simple as it sounds, episode 19.